Hey folks, today we're going to continue our warble series and today we're going to talk about the Native American flute fingering. So I'm going to go through that and give you um, some of the thought process behind that and how it works. So I developed this with uh, developer Andrew Mowry. Uh, when I heard about um, this, the uh, first thing I thought of was uh, this would be a great platform for exploring things like Native American flute because uh, there are seven holes on the top, so you've got your six finger holes, um, you've got the one on the back for your thumb hole, and then there's a pinky hole. So a lot of possibilities for opening up things that uh, that you maybe can't do on a regular flute. Um, so let's go over, start with the basics. So your basic pentatonic scale is going to be exactly the same as on the flute, so let's go through that. So all what you're used to. Um, and then the next set, you've got all the in-between notes, all the chromatics. So I'll show you that. And m these are mostly fingerings that work on, on most of my flutes. Okay. Now on the high end, those vary uh, with the real flutes quite a bit, so I try to take a good average. Um, so I've got two ways to do the high A sharp or B flat note. Um, one with just no fingers and then kind of a normal like this. I'll show you both. And then this one. And then you've got your two other normal notes, the B. And then I added a high major third. So this one, um, I don't think any of my flutes, real flutes do this, but you get an extra note on the top end. All right, and then on the bottom end is a little bit different as well. And here's where we can start think, um, showing how the pinky works. So the pinky works, it's usually, uh, flattens the tone by a semitone. So I'll, I'll kind of show you that in a few ways. Okay, so that bottom note is the one difference. So if you got all fingers down, it raises it a semitone. And what that lets you do is get the Kind of the missing note on the on the naff. So you'll go from the A up to the B. And then or B flat, sorry. So A up to B flat. And then the B you can get by essentially flattening the C note, right? Okay, so you have all the notes all the way from low A, up um, almost an octave, octave and a major third, all the way up to the C sharp um, in the upper range. So I'll try and play the whole chromatic range here. Okay, and then finally, the sum hole. So the only thing the sum hole does is it raises by an octave regardless. So if I'm playing low A, okay. Um, so just with the finger holes, you get um, over two octaves of range. And then the warble, you can you can have, you can change the uh, the octave up and down with um, the buttons on the back. I won't go into that, but even without that, you get um, over two octaves of range. Um, now the other thing, if you look at the fingering chart, you might get really confused because some of the notes have like a gazillion possibilities. And what's going on there is I basically filled in um, 
kind of all the empty empty fingerings that uh, either don't work or just don't do anything special on, on a real nav. And the way that works is that if you have an empty hole like, like this one and you start putting extra fingers down, each extra finger is going to drop by a semitone. So you don't have to memorize all this. It's just, uh, you just kind of do it. So. And they don't have to be consecutive. You could even skip ones like this. Right, so that opens up um, a lot of possibilities for chromatic runs or just alternate fingerings. Um, so the point is you don't memorize all those. You just kind of explore and, and see what happens. <laughs> and, and that basically works um, for many of your standard notes. So as long as it doesn't conflict with a real note, then you'll get that behavior. Um, so if you open the, uh, if you're in the upper register, then that kind of um, can mess you up a little bit because, um, you know, say, say I'm uh, doing a high A here. It's just going to jump up because that's um, a regular fingering and that kind of messes you up. As long as you're in the lower register and you have an empty hole, then it just kind of works. Okay, um, well that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so have fun exploring with your Native American flute mode on the Warble. Thanks.